Listen up, everybody. This is going to get very, very interesting because we are now joined uh, by psychologist Dr. Richard Stevens, who has been looking at some surprising ways uh, how bad behaviour and boredom can yeah. make us more creative. It's true. Um, in the film there, we saw that Coleridge used to go on these walks and they were seen as wasting time, even though he'd go to get some inspiration. But do you say, Richard, and this is brilliant news for lots of people, we should waste more time because it actually makes you more productive. Well, that's, that's right. I mean, uh, basically, wasting time uh, is okay. Don't be afraid to waste time. Uh, even if you, it's almost like there's a boomerang mechanism. Even if you waste time to the point of boredom, mm -hmm. uh, boredom is not something to be too wary of. Boredom is not a kind of a passive state. It's an active state. If you get people in the lab and deliberately make them bored, and there's quite nice ways of doing that, showing them videos of very boring things like people hanging up laundry. Uh, or, or We've got, like we, we can actually do this experiment right now because <laughs> Dave was doing some washing earlier on. And um, so he, he's just busy now. So what's happening to our bodies, Richard, as, as Dave's doing this? As, as, you, as you get more and more bored, you actually get more and more activated. If you measure people's heart rate, heart rate increases when you're bored. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not a deactivation Oh, yeah, I had a burst then. I had a real, real burst. Yeah, that's getting a bit angry then. And, okay. and make, this is something that... <laughs> I mean, you, I, I don't know what sort of a creative phase you're in at the moment watching this, Nick, but when, when Richard sat down, you said... I, I feel a song coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Sock it to us. No. Um, yeah, you were saying that you agree with this, that there's boredom. Yeah, when, when they mentioned this, this, this downtime, that's very much something that comes into my mind when, I, when I'm close to writing, is that I want to do nothing. I do absolutely nothing. I just loz around the house. And then, invariably, that's what... It, came with, with these songs. All 12 of them came, uh, I wrote them in my bedroom and just did, most of the time it was in between bouts of what you might describe as boredom and I just describe as lozzing around. But the question was, now was your bedroom messy or was it tidy? Because another one of the theories you explore, Richard, in your book is that messy places are, are more creative areas. Isn't that Richard? Is that right? Yeah, so people have done research on how different contexts can influence uh, how people feel and creativity. And if you put people in a, a very messy office mm -hmm. compared with a very uh, tidy office, people are able to do creativity problems better mm -hmm. uh, in the messy office. See, I'm, I'm very messy, and I think because you know, like if you're drawing or painting or doing anything like that, you're looking around for a book, you try to find messy. whatever it is, and then so everything's sparking, and suddenly you then put whatever you've produced in a really yeah. tidy place, and it looks. Quite you should see his dressing room. See, I can't <laughs> do anything until everything's cleared. Yeah. And then she's got no time to be creative. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Richard Stevens' book, Black Sheep, The Hidden Benefits of Being Bad, is out a bit later this month. Richard, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. No doubt, you too. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we speak, giant